Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you exactly how to replace images in Figma. Whether you're tidying up a client's design or just want to swap in some fresh graphics for your own project, you'll know how to do it smoothly by the end of this tutorial. Let's get right into it so you can start updating those visuals with confidence. So let's imagine you've already built your layout in Figma, maybe it's a website mockup or a mobile app screen, but you realize the images you used earlier just aren't quite right. No worries, Figma makes it super easy to replace images without disturbing any of your hard work on layout or design. First things first, click on the image you want to replace. Sometimes if you're working with grouped elements or frames, you'll need to click a couple times or even use Command or Control plus click to really select just the image layer. Don't worry if it seems a little tricky at first, the outline should highlight specifically around your image once you've selected it correctly. After you've got your image selected, look over to the right-hand side of your Figma workspace. You'll see a section called Fill. This is where Figma stores the color or even the image being used in your layer. If your layer is an image, you'll notice there's a thumbnail preview of the graphic currently in place. Go ahead and click directly on that image preview. Doing this opens up a small menu where you can interact with your image fill. Now when that menu pops up, move your mouse over the current image. You'll see an option that says Upload from Computer. This is your gateway to swapping in any new image you want. Click on it and your file browser will open up. Navigate to the image you want to use, maybe it's a brand new product shot or a slick new background and select it. Figma will immediately upload and insert your chosen picture into the design in place of the old one. This part might take a moment depending on your file size, so if it hangs for a second, don't stress. Now comes a really important detail, adjusting how your new image fits inside the space. Look again at the top of the image settings. You'll notice a drop-down option that says things like fill, fit, crop, and tile. This is where you tell Figma exactly how you want your image to appear inside its frame. Let me quickly break them down. Fill will make your image completely cover the frame, sometimes cropping the edges if the proportions don't match. Fit will ensure your entire image is visible, but will add blank space if your frame isn't the same shape as your picture. Crop is perfect if you want more control and want to manually drag your image around or zoom in within the frame itself. And tile repeats your image like a pattern great for textures or backgrounds. Take a moment to pick the setting that works best for your design. Play around with these options, sometimes just a small switch here can really elevate the look and feel of your project. Don't worry if you don't get it perfect the first try, you can always change this setting later. And that's it, you've successfully replaced an image in Figma without any hassle. With this skill in your toolkit, updating visuals in your designs becomes quick and seamless, keeping your work fresh and on brand. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. And of course, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more straightforward Figma tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.